Hey guys, I just wanted to share something with you that I ran into. I don't know if you saw my video the other day about the new weed whacker that I bought, the 15 inch Ryobi. Well, let's talk about the battery. Not the battery that came with that, but the battery I was showing you the other day. I'll show you right now. So this is my Ryobi battery charging station. I got my six amps for the lawnmower, my new four amp that came with the 15 inch weed, weed eater trimmer. I got my two old standby batteries here. And I had this nice, pretty little Ryobi battery. When I say pretty, it looks like brand spanking new. Well, what happened? It quit working on me. I don't know when, sometime last year. And it's just been sitting over here and I've been thinking that, you know, there's an issue that maybe I could get to one of these days. Anyway, today was the day. So when you press the, the button here, you see it's fully charged, all four lights. Well, when you used to press the button, it would flash. They would just flash green, all four of them at the same time. When you put it on the charger, the charger would show red, green, red, green, battery error, battery error. So this is what I found out today. Well, I've been searching videos on YouTube on what to do with batteries that have flashing lights. I came across several of them that said to take it apart and do a reset, which is what I did today. Now, I want to tell you right up front, you need a special set of tools, and I'm not telling you you should do this unless you're a qualified technician. So, you got to have this tamper-proof. When they say tamper-proof, it's got a hole in the middle. Special tool is a pretty small one right there. So, you shouldn't do this unless you're qualified to do it. This happens to be a T10. So, it's a Torx 10, but it's a tamper-proof Torx 10. So, after you take these four screws out, and I'm telling you not to do it, so you shouldn't do it unless you know what you're doing. You got four screws here, and one of them had a dummy plug in it. Now, you would be voiding your warranty, but this is already out of warranty, I'm sure. Or at least it's probably close to being out of warranty. Now, underneath this cover, you can see that is it's just glued down with stickum. So this is actually glued here and here. Now some people cut it with a razor blade. I didn't have to. I'm gonna take it apart, take it apart just to show you, even though I know you can find it somewhere else. So let me get these screws out of here real quick. Okay, so the four screws are out of there. This, this comes apart like that. You got this sticky decal right here, and then it comes right off. So that's, that's all there is to that. You got this decal that sticks onto there. Now this only applies if your lights are flashing, which mine, all four of them were flashing. So according to the other YouTubers that I watched, there's a little reset right here. Now, some of the YouTubers weren't kind of clear. They said if you put a, push a paper clip in there that it would work. There's nothing to push in there. Actually, this circuit and this circuit have to connect. So, you have to use a jumper, a paper clip, a wire. Now, like I said, don't do this unless you're qualified. So, you touch those two together and the YouTube channel that I watch said the lights will flash. Well, and I've watched several of them. My lights didn't flash. These lights on the end didn't do anything. So these lights on the end are supposed to respond. So I cleaned up the motherboard, looked like there was a little bit of corrosion on mine, cleaned it up with some contact cleaner in case there was something shorting out. There's no signs of anything shorting out. I checked my voltages. My voltages were like 23 volts. So anyway, I did this and it didn't work. I tried, you know, the method where everybody says you put it on the charger every couple seconds and then try to hope for the best and hope that it'll wake up, but that didn't do it. So in the end, I came back to this jumper. I tested the voltage on this outside pin. This outside circuit here was three volts and there was no voltage on this one. So 
I thought, well, normally when you're resetting a computer, like on a car, on a stereo, you have to hold a refrigerator, you have to hold down two buttons, usually to put it in reset mode. So I used this to connect the two circuits there, and then I pushed the button, this button that's on the end that lights up the lights. So you see those lights all light up. Okay, after I did that, they flashed and then it showed one light. So it was down, it was a low charge, down on one charge. So that was all there was to it. Put it back together, put it on the charger. The uh, logic board inside the battery was happy. Everybody was happy. Just glue, stick your decal right back on there. Put the screws back in and I couldn't find anybody that said to push that button at the same time when you have those two connected so do your due diligence do all your research and you have to uh, come to your own conclusions on your capabilities now I hated to throw away a nice battery that I know is very low use and I know I didn't have the receipt or anything so I didn't uh, couldn't remember when I bought it I know it's been a few years anyway I put this there it's all back together didn't have to cut anything with the razor blade it's got four bars it's fully charged up and let me show you this nice looking battery in the blower it's got some power that battery is doing what it's supposed to be doing And let's see what I can show you over here. If I can show you, take out my newest battery. And let's see. See that fourth light blinking there? See the charger is charger is charging. And this battery is back in business. I am so pleased with that. Catch you on the next one.